Hey everyone, today we're down at uh, Bonneville Dam on the Columbia River. Going to be doing some shad fishing. From what I've heard from people down there, they're catching quite a few. So let's go down there and try and catch one. Get a new species. Jerry the Priscatorian. <laughs> How's it going? That's chain and pink. Jerry's got one right now. Here, I got a net. Yeah, not really good. Nice. Brett with the net assist. The little guy. There's Jerry's halt so far. He's been here since five. Jerry with a hot hand. <laughs> oh, he's a fighter. A fighter. <laughs> Got him. Look at that. That's a good Chad. Yeah. Like a big one. Right, number three. Made a move from the uh, sort of slack water over there to some current, and now we're actually catching fish. Here's my setup I've got a one ounce egg sinker, 30 pound mainline braid, barrel swivel, 20 pound fluoro. I got a, a little loop in the end, and a quarter ounce shad bar in chartreuse and green. Shane's got one down there. Here's Shane and Ping's pole. They got a whole bunch so far. 
looks like uh, one, two, three, four. Looks like you got at least eight. You guys are, are shad fishing machines. <laughs> All right, so that's going to be it for uh, the fishing part. Next, we'll uh, see you in the kitchen. And yeah, go check out uh, Shane and Ping's uh, channel. I'll put a link in the description. All right, here's Jerry and Warren's haul. Quite a few fish. Yeah, it wasn't too bad for our first time here at the uh, Columbia. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. Good times out here. Heck yeah. Go check out Jerry's YouTube channel. I'll put a link in the description. Yeah, hit that subscribe button. Okay, so I'm back home now and it's time to prepare the fish. First thing, probably wear some gloves. These shad stink really bad. If you don't want to use gloves, uh, toothpaste will help get rid of the smell from your hands. First thing I'm going to do is descale the fish. I'm just going to use a spoon and I filled my sink with water so the scales don't go flying everywhere. Okay, there you go, no scales. One thing about these fish that I was told out there is this bottom is really sharp. So be careful when you're handling them. You can lift them pretty easy. Like here, your mouths are kind of soft and your fingers will go through probably, but you can still get a good grip there. Okay, so I'm just gonna gut the fish now, and this one I think may be a female, so there may be some eggs inside. So this is a female, look at all those eggs. So I'm told they're pretty good to eat, so I'm gonna try and save these two egg sacs. So you wanna clean those guts out really well because we're not gonna do much. We're just gonna cut this fish into pieces and then pretty much fry it right away. There's one steak. So that was pretty easy. Uh, so here's what the meat looks like. It's, um, it looks like a lot of white meat. There's those bits of red in there. I'm not sure if you gotta cut those out or if you gotta eat them. I'm just gonna cook it up and I'll see if it's good. It might be like uh, carp or other fish like that where the red parts are the bloodline and you don't wanna be eating that. It won't kill you, so I'm just gonna try it and see how it tastes. Uh, I can easily cut it out after the fact. But these fish have a ton of bones in them. Like you can see a couple of these long ones right here. There's other ones you can feel just poking along here. Basically by cutting them in these one inch thick chunks, you can fry them and those bones are supposed to get soft. But for the frying process, I looked up some recipes and there's this one, it's pretty simple actually, it's just salt and turmeric, coated fillets and you fry that up. So that's the way I'm gonna do it. I'm kind of on a keto diet, so I can't do any breading or my mom's been calling me fat funk, so I gotta lose some weight. Okay, so today I'm gonna be trying something different. I've been hearing a lot of people say that lard is just so much better for cooking. I'm gonna fry these fish in lard. I've never actually used lard. To salt these down. I bought this giant bag of turmeric and I just didn't know what to do with it. And 
really glad I found this recipe. Now I've got a, I finally actually got to use for a whole ton of turmeric. The stuff is supposed to be actually pretty healthy for you, like antioxidants and all that stuff if you care. orange color. I don't know how good it'll taste, but it looks cool. So I'm gonna have to cook two at a time. I got this small little pan. I'm gonna have to use the fan so it doesn't stink up my house. These are looking actually really good. I'm gonna take the first batch out. A lot of the turmeric came off in the pot, but there's still a little left. All right, so I just snuck a bite of this little, little one and man, that is actually some really good eating. There's some bones in there, quite a few actually, but we just crunch right on through that. This is uh, Shane's favorite fish to eat. And uh, I can see why. It's pretty good. I thought it might be fishy based on the way the fish um, smells when you touch it, when it gets on your hands. That's pretty good. Now I got those dark brown parts. I'm gonna try that right now. See if that's any different. That's the more fishy bit. Yeah, if you don't want any fishy flavor, take those pieces out. Comes right off too. But the white meat, I mean, I don't know if that's gonna show up, but that is some gorgeous white flaky meat. I was gonna use all that shad I caught for bait, but I'm tempted to eat it now. You you can see these tiny rib bones, they just break right off. I don't know why white people don't like this stuff. I mean, this is the first time I've had it and I think it's pretty good. So yeah, the recipe is really good. Give it a try. Don't know if the lard makes a difference. I'll have to try lard and vegetable oil side by side, but I mean, this recipe turned out so good. But uh, yeah, if you're on the keto diet and want to have some fish and don't want to use some almond flour or something like that, give the turmeric a try as a breading. It's pretty good. But I'm going to get back to eating this and uh, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.